Hi everyone, it's DJ Littles. Um, I'm going to be doing a reading series real quick. Um, this is going to be the first book. I'm going to make them all simultaneously and download them simultaneously. Simultaneously. Whatever. I'm going to do them in order, one after another. Better way to say it. Um, and I'm going to be also reading to my new friends. This is Moo Moo. This little unicorn is magic. And I got Racing Stripes, Chunky Monkey, and Ferdinand. Ferdinand looks like Ferdinand the Bull. So we're going to read... Actually, I don't know. Okay, we're going to do this one. Happy Birthday Strawberry Shortcake. Hold on, I'm going to switch the camera over. Okay. And I got all these books from the library, so I'm just borrowing them. Um, so. It was a beautiful day in Berry Bitty City, and Strawberry Shortcake had been busy baking all morning. She needed more flour to make one last treat, a cream-filled berry-topped cake. She walked from her, from her cafe over to the Orange Mart. Here's the Orange Mart. To get a bag. When she opened the door of Orange Blossom store, Strawberry heard excited, excited chatter. All her friends were standing inside. Hi, girls, she said cheerfully. Strawberry's friends... Sorry about the glare, guys. I can't exactly help that. Strawberry's friends immediately stopped talking and began to act strangely. Orange Blossom crumpled up a piece of paper and threw it over her shoulder. Blueberry Muffin started to dig frantically through her purse. Plum Pudding, who had been doing a pirouette, stopped in mid-twirl and sat down on a box. There. That's better. Cherry Jam noisily dropped a clipboard into a wastebasket and turned to study a shelf of canned vegetables. Raspberry Torte stopped in front of Lemon Marinade, whatever Marinade, who held a shopping basket. Oh, uh, <laughs> hi there, Strawberry. Raspberry stammered with a wave of her hand. Orange rushed over to Strawberry. What can I help you with, Strawberry? She asked nervously. I just need a bag of flour, answered little redhead, the little redhead, looking around at her friends. Here you go, Orange said, shoving a bag into Strawberry's hands and hurrying her out the door. Thanks for coming. Start with up here. Whew, phew, that was close, Orange said to the others after Strawberry had left. The girls had been planning a surprise party for Strawberry's birthday the next day. They hoped that their friend didn't suspect anything. Um, by the way, I'm reading this story just because my birthday was December 2nd. That just passed. So yeah, happy birthday to me. Anybody else's birthday, happy birthday. You can definitely... Definitely read this story or have me read it to you on your birthday. Okay, does everyone know what to do? Lemon asked. Yes, Plum exclaimed, spinning around the store. I'm so excited. See you tomorrow at my place, said Blueberry with a big smile. This is going to be the very best party ever, Raspberry said enthusiastically. Hmm. And it would have been, except nothing went according to plan. Lemon forgot to set a timer on her oven and burned the birthday cake she was making for strawberry. Orange discovered that her party supplies were sold out. Raspberry accidentally broke the pretty pink dessert tray that the girls had gotten as a gift for Strawberry. Plum couldn't find her favorite pair of dance shoes and strings, and the strings on Cherry's guitar snapped so they couldn't perform the birthday song and dance number they had planned. Blueberry knocked glitter all over the glue-covered card that she was making for Strawberry. The card was ruined. This is going to be the very worst party ever. 
Later that day, the girls met at Blueberry's bookstore and to discuss all their party planning disasters. Everything was such a mess. What else could possibly go wrong? Just then, the phone rang. It was Huckleberry Pie calling from very big sit from very big city. Blueberry, I'm sorry, but my pet mobile isn't running. I'm not going to make it to Strawberry's party, said Huck. Blueberry put her head in her hands. This is terrible, she sniffled. Oh, now we can't have a party for Strawberry on her very big day. Sorry, I gotta switch hands. My hand's cramping. Oops. See, I'm horrible at this left. Suddenly, the f the door of the bookstore flew open. Pupcake and Custard rushed in carrying a bunch of red balloons. Each balloon... Oops. What is... What's this? Lemon asked, reaching for them. Each balloon had a girl's name on it and a note inside. I can't read it said Cherry, staring into her balloon. Then let's pop them, Orange suggested. One, two, three. The girls jumped on their balloons and pop. Pop. <laughs> the papers that were hidden inside fluttered to the floor. Please come to my berry cafe right away, the note read. The girls exchanged puzzled looks. What's Strawberry up to? Okay. They all headed across town to the Berry Cafe. As they were about to walk inside, a voice from above called out, Hello there! Oh, it's Huckleberry. The girls looked up to see Huck, Huck floating down on a butterfly. This butterfly just showed up at my house with a note saying to jump on and fly here, he explained, hopping off and waving goodbye to the butterfly. This is so strange, Blueberry said to herself as she reached for the doorknob of the cafe. What's going on? Sorry, i got to change my legs again. I have really bad issues with my legs again. Okay. When Blueberry saw what was inside, she was even more surprised. The cafe was decorated with pink, green, and yellow balloons and streamers. Lunch was served at a table set for eight. In the center of the table sat a very beautiful cake. Just... Oh, never mind. I thought I was missing a page, but I'm not. I was just ripping the page. Nice. Just then, Strawberry jumped up from behind the counter. Surprised, she called out to her friends, but everyone was still confused. What's this? they asked. A birthday celebration, Strawberry replied. But we were supposed to throw a party for you, Orange pointed out. No, Strawberry corrected her. You're supposed to make my birthday happy, and guess what? You already do that just by being my very best friends. So I wanted to do something on my birthday. To show you how much I appreciate all of you. The girls and Hawk gathered around Strawberry and gave her a big hug. Strawberry, you make every day happy for us just by being you. Lemon smiled and gave her friend a big squeeze. Happy birthday, Strawberry Shortcake. And that is the end.